Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger Part 72 More Dead Things Lots more dead things And we kill it with fire Because that's the easiest way to kill dead things Any zombie movie I've ever seen That's what I've learned Kill it with fire Alright so as you can see we're still facing off in The Northern Ruins to do the side quest. And this is actually Frog's side quest. Every character gets a side quest, except for Chrono. Chrono doesn't get a side quest. He gets benefits from some of the side quests, but I don't think he gets one of his own. Because that whole bringing him back to life, I think, was technically his side quest. <laughs> He's just happy to be alive. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta kill all the baddies. Which is good. It gives us money. It gives us XP. It gives us tech points. Which is good, because this group still needs to learn more abilities. Frog's just kind of here for the ride, because these things don't really take too much damage from, uh, water. Go figure. So, but it is technically his side quest, because he gets the best reward from it. Alright, dead, dead, dead. Lots of tech points, lots of money, level ups, yay. Very happy. Alright, so that's everything that we can open here. There's a treasure chest over there that's one of the special ones that we can't get to. And then there's stuff in there that we can't get to either. So, we go back down and we'll go down to this, the basement area. I think those bad guys stay dead. I'm not entirely sure. They may come back. No, they're dead. So, yeah. We've got that sorted out. Do they come back here? Nope. Don't come back there. Okay. So we've killed all the baddies. Now we go back... I think he's at the residence from now on. So yeah, we go to the residence. We're gonna talk to the carpenter again. Hey, we killed all the bad guys. Go fix stuff. Fix it. You want to, See, now he's gonna be a dick and charge us. 2,000 gold a pop. Thankfully, we got 1,900 from each fight. So we've got a fair bit to spend on this. And the end result is worth it. Alright, so... Again, in the time that it takes for us to walk over there, they have already beaten us there, fixed everything, and are standing at the entrance waiting for us to show up to tell us that they're cowards. And that we've got to clear out more monsters before they can continue. Alright, so, yeah. We'll go down, because down here is the, the major part that they should have fixed. Yep, so we can go in here now. Still don't get the treasure chest. And there's a tombstone here. Cyrus the Fool Who Challenged Magus rests here. And this is why it's Frog's story, because it's him tying up loose ends with his best friend. The power of the Massamoon allows you to communicate with the dead. Yep, probably. This is actually really sad because... And it's even worse because Magus is standing right there. <laughs> Frog has so much he wants to say because, I mean... Frog, to this day, still feels that it's his fault that Cyrus is dead. Like, if he was stronger, 
or better or more courageous, he could have defeated Magus back then. Magus, I guarantee you, at this point, is just sitting there kind of smirking like, ha, I killed him. And the Massamoon reacts to this ethereal event and splits back into Mass and Moon. One of the only times, again, we see them outside of Zeal. And now, Magus is like, holy crap. The hero's power comes from within. The same thing they've been talking about the whole time. Meta mucho metaphysical, man. Oh, God, I hate how they talk. Now for a yummy full-on test. It's thrashing time. And they reform back into the sword. No fight required this time. But they have awakened the full power of the Massimone. The true identity of the Massimone. is a sad farewell. Onward all. Alright, so... We now have the powered up Massimoon, which is Frog's strongest weapon. This is Frog's ultimate weapon. And because of that, what we want to do is re-equip the hero medal. Why not make it even more powerful? Alright, so now we've got that, and what we want to do is just continue looking around. Because I think there's more bad guys that we need to kill in order to get things. And then there's a couple of things that we have to do to spark an event in the future. Alright, so we still can't go in there. That's still blocked. We can go in here, though. That's still not... What did they fix? They only fixed the downstairs. God, these guys are... Pussies. There's no monsters in here. I've killed them all. So, now that we've got the Massimoon powered up, we go, we talk to him again. He should be able to fix it again. For yet another 2,000 gold. Because he's a... Wat waffle, but really, if you think about it in in this light, it's we're paying. We've paid what four thousand gold so far uh, to get Frog's Ultima weapon. Not too bad, especially given you know how Square Enix likes to do some of their quests. Um, I'm looking at Ruby and Emerald weapon from Final Fantasy VII, uh, Ozma from Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's, there are a couple of side quests that are considerably more difficult than this, so I'm fine with this. It's okay. Alright. So, now I believe they've got everything repaired to the best of their abilities. So let's go look around. And see what we can see. Alright, so we can get here. We don't want to open the treasure chests. We do want to talk to this treasure chest. Something is reacting to the pendant. Take the contents out? No. You do want to have it react to the pendant, though. That is important. And now we've got more dead things. Come on, there we go. And we kill the dead things with fire. The dead things obviously have crap accuracy. And that doesn't kill them because they're just a little too strong. Luca, however, I just now realized is kind of hurt. Should probably fix that at some point. And a little bit of the money that we've had to spend on this little excursion made up. 
and lots of doors, more dead things, lots more dead things. And new dead things! Hey, it's those ooze things. We haven't seen those in a little while. They are base. Not to be confused with the Mega Man villain of the same name. Mainly because uh, there's a little thing that they do. Acids and bases. Haha. -ha. And if I think you can attack them together if they're close enough, they fuse and like just die. Something like that. And you just manage to survive. And you're just gonna manage to piss me off, aren't you? So we're gonna just flame toss and have that be the end of it. Thank you. Thank you for just eating up more time. Nagasarn's Magic Wall. Luca levels up. Magic Wall uh, increases your magical defense by a third, I believe. Everything's by third. Protect is by a third. Uh, yeah, all sorts of fun stuff. So, okay. Two more treasure chests that we need to have react. In the meantime, we will kill everything here with fire. And just in case, we'll have Frog do water too, in case the bases don't die from this. Dead, 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 dead. And still more fun stuff. Alright, so... Something's reacting. No, do not take it out. Something's reacting. No, do not take it out. Alright, so that's all we can do now. We've gotten everything taken care of. That's the entirety of the upstairs area. The downstairs area is just the, uh, the tomb. So what we're going to do is not get that treasure chest, because I went the wrong way, is I'm going to go ahead and end it here, once we make it to the entrance, and then I will see you all in our next installment, in which we uh, we pillage this place for everything it's worth. Alright, uh, till then, later everyone.